And now onto the dinosaur of the day, Isisaurus. As we mentioned, it appears in the second episode of Prehistoric Planet 2. It was a titanosaur that lived in the late Cretaceous in what is now India and Pakistan, in the Lameda Formation and Pab Formation, which were about the same age. Reconstructions make it look kind of hunched over, with a short neck for a sauropod, and with very long legs. It did seem sort of short-necked in the depictions of yeah. Prehistoric Planet. But then, of course, being a sauropod, it is fairly large. It's got the long tail, walked on four legs, and it's got that proportionally small, elongated skull. In Prehistoric Planet's version, it looked pretty stout to me. Yeah, especially the babies. Yeah. Isisaurus was medium-sized. It was estimated to be about 59 feet or 18 meters long and weighed 15 metric tons. It's humerus. The arm bone was about 58 inches or 148 centimeters long. So was that almost five feet? Pretty long. That is. And back in 2009, Sauropod Vertebra Picture of the Week posted that the reconstruction of Isisaurus was, quote, weird as heck. (laughs) They said that there's conflicting reconstructions that are also weird. Both reconstructions are based on data from the original paper that describes it, but one reconstruction is based on the scale bars in the figures in the paper, and another one is from measurements written in the paper. So apparently they don't agree very well. No, and the sauropod vertebrate picture of the week, they did their reconstruction based on the measurements in the paper. Oh, really? I would have thought the picture. I think they, the reason was that it seemed that the measurements in the paper might be more accurate, but they ended with advocating for measuring the skeleton again to determine if it's the scale bars or the published measurements that are the accurate numbers. Oh, I see. Yeah. For some reason, scale bar is probably different than like an actual scale i was imagining in the picture mm. you know like how you can have a picture of the actual scale in it but this is probably a bar that was added after the fact could be which you're probably right might be a little more prone to error they also wrote quote we know the icy source must have been pretty darn weird because its cervicals are so short meaning it's neck vertebrae yep so it's got some interesting things going on the type species is icy source colberti originally it was thought to be titanosaurus colberti it was named Titanosaurus colberti in 1997 by Sohan Laljain and Saswati Bandiopadhye. The species name is in honor of Edwin Colbert, who's, quote, the foremost exponent of dinosaurs. The authors in 97 wrote, quote, the earliest record of titanosaurids anywhere in the world was established in India in 1877, which I wanted to quote because... For whatever reason, I didn't know that before I read this paper, but Titanosaurus was found in the Lometa Formation, and that's below the Deccan Traps. Titanosaurus is from India. Yes. What do you know? Yeah, when I hear Titanosaur, I think Argentina, not India. Yeah, the group Titanosaurs, but same. (laughs) I guess that's what happens, though. We haven't done Titanosaurus as a dinosaur of the day yet. We haven't? No. Yeah. Weird. It is. (laughs) Anyway, it was only fragments that were found, but that was enough at the time to name Titanosaurus. I actually don't know if I even knew Titanosaurus was an, <laughs> an animal. <laughs> like I knew Titanosaurus, but mm-hmm. I, did, I don't know if I knew Titanosaurus. Oh, I did at least know about Titanosaurus, but I didn't know. Anything it was about in, it. <laughs> 1877. That's amazing. Yeah. Anyway, we're talking about Isisaurus, okay. and those fossils were collected between 1984 and 1986. They found a well-preserved, partly articulated skeleton of 65 bones. Hmm. Yeah, and included vertebrae, ribs, parts of the shoulder, left arm, pelvis. But it was missing a skull and hind limb and foot bones, possibly due to erosion. Okay. Yeah, because the way they depicted it, they sort of have it in more of like a brachiosaurus type posture Mm -hmm. with the longer front arms than hind limbs. And that's probably because that humerus is so long. But without the hind limbs, it's always... A little bit speculative. Although if they have the hips, sometimes you can get the angle of the back a little bit from that, so that can help. That's true. With these fossils, since it was so articulated, they think it was probably buried close to where it died. Mm, That helps too with the posture. It does. Isisaurus has differences in the tail vertebrae from other titanosaur species, including some more slightly curved surfaces. And there's some differences in the shoulder and the arm bones. So in 2003, Jeffrey Wilson and Paul Upchurch renamed this specimen to Isisaurus colberti. They reevaluated all Titanosaurus species and found only five of them to be valid. And they actually found the type species of Titanosaurus 
Indicus to be invalid. So we've got Icysaurus cobertii, and the genus name means icy lizard. Or ISI lizard. Yes, because the name is in honor of the Indian Statistical Institute, which, quote, houses India's foremost collection of Mesozoic fossil vertebrates and whose scholars discovered and described the holotype skeleton. Yeah, and that's one of those where it's like, how do you pronounce it? It's an it's a abbreviation. Yep. <laughs> how do you pronounce ISI? We can't call it ISI Saurus. That would be crazy. <laughs> but in, in prehistoric planet, they go with IC Saurus. So that's what we're doing. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like that they say I at the beginning of it since it's I-S-I. Yeah, it's... it was helpful. Thank mm -hmm. you, David Attenborough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, other sauropods that were found in what's now India include, obviously, Titanosaurus, multiple species, fewer as of 2003 than before, but there's still mm -hmm. multiple ones, and Janosaurus. And Isisaurus lived alongside Janosaurus. In 2011, Jeffrey Wilson, Paul Barrett, and Matthew Carano referred a quote, nearly complete, relatively undeformed brain case, end quote, to Isisaurus. Nice. Yeah, and that brain case was found in Pakistan. They said that there hadn't been any systematic comparison between sauropods found in both the Pab and Lametta formations, and quote, there remains a strong possibility that more of the remains collected from the Pab formation it will be referable to Isisaurus and Janosaurus, end quote. It's also possible there's other titanosaur species there. They said that Janosaurus and Isisaurus don't seem to be closely related and that they, quote, represent distinct titanosaur lineages. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's always interesting when they live alongside each other, but they're pretty different. Mm -hmm. There's some coprolites that are thought to have come from Isisaurus, and they contained fungus. And that fungus is known to infect tree leaves and cause leaf spot and red rot. Which, when I looked up leaf spot and red rot, they look how they sound. <laughs> One's a spot on a leaf and the other is a red rotting yep. thing. <laughs> <laughs> now, if those copper lights belong to Isisaurus, it means Isisaurus ate a variety of different tree leaves and probably was a high browser like camels and giraffes today. Hmm. Based on that fungus, Isisaurus probably lived in a tropical to subtropical climate. That's where fungus likes to grow. Mm-hmm. Now, other dinosaurs found around the same time and place as Isisaurus include abelosaurs like Indosuchus and Rajasaurus. And other animals that were around at the same time and place include fish, shrimp, gastropods, turtles, and crocodiles. Because they weren't just in volcanoes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash or click the link on the left.